Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So, uh, the Sephora sale is happening. And apparently, I am acting like I have never shopped at Sephora before. It has been a while since I have, I think, because I try to only shop sales there because everything is expensive and they don't have sales often. So, right now, I'm gonna share with you everything that I bought during the sale. It is all sitting in front of me. Disclaimer, I've lost my mind. Do not judge me. I work hard for this money. <laughs> Buying makeup makes me happy. So don't come for me in the comments about it's gonna go to waste, blah, 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 whatever. My money, my business, my passion, my hobby, I love it. And I appreciate the fellow makeup junkies out here that love to watch it. So. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do lots of hauls, lots of makeup, lots of hair, lots of nails, all of it, anything beauty, a little bit of fitness, that's what this channel is about. I am not going to keep you guys waiting. I placed mm, a few orders. I went in the store three times. Let's just hop into it and I'll share what I picked up during the Sephora Spring Savings event, VIB sale, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into it. Alright, so first of all, if I sound a little hoarse, I have literally been talking all day met a friend for lunch while I was shopping and we literally talked and sat and ate for six hours. So yeah, if I'm a little hoarse, that's what it is. Nothing to be worried about, but we're going to start. We got a bag. We got a couple boxes. I'm just going to pull out and go. I'm going to start with this first thing because it is something that I picked up from Sephora. And then I brought it back because I got it online for cheaper and got it faster than my Sephora order. So I cannot wait to try these. This is the Patrick Star Cheek Clapper Blush Trio. I picked up two blush trios because y'all know I love blush and one of the contour bronzer trios. So the first one I picked up is Firestarter. I could not pass on this shade because it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I feel like they showed this before the promos even came out. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then I think it's cute. It's a little bulky, but it's cute. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So this one is in kind of a like orange red, super bright, I love blush. And I, I don't want to lie because I feel like every time I say I don't have something, I go and I look and I have it, but nothing stands out to me that reminds me of this shade, so I just knew I had to have it. This is perfect for spring and summer, and I love all of these shades. I got a lot of stuff. I'm not going to swatch a lot of stuff because I feel like I'm going to be here all day, but this is the first one that I knew I had to pick up. The other two I picked up from the One Size website. He did have a sale where if you bought two of them, you got 25% off. And that was right up my alley because there were two more that I wanted to buy. So I was not mad at it. So the first one, we'll go ahead and do the other blush trio. So this is the box. I didn't show that earlier. But this is in Rich Bitch with an E. I thought the names of these were so cute, but this one is much deeper and it's almost like a bronzy, y'all know how I love my bronzy blush tones, like super cute. And I love that these have the plastic flap on top so that you do not get your powder um, products like the whatever, what you call it? I can't think right now. It is 10 o'clock at night. Kickback, there's no kickback. It's just gonna be covered and protected. Kind of like Patrick Ta, a little bit, but you know, love this shade. Feels like it'll be great to complement whatever eyeshadow I'm wearing. Like, I feel like this could go with anything, even if it was cool toned, in my opinion. I also decided to pick up one of the bronzers. This is the Dark Trio. Sephora ran out of these before they even were in stock on their website. I don't know what happened. I was so aggravated 
because I had a reminder set and then I didn't get it. So same, actually not. These are in, is this how the, I think this is how the foundation looks, the powder, maybe, I don't remember, but super cute. This is in the shade, like I said, Dark Trio. Sephora ran out, I picked up medium dark and it was way too light. And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna get it and then I'll bring it back. And then I saw his sale. So I was like, I'm gonna order it here, bring the other one back, be done with that. So this is what it looks like. These shades are pretty dark and I think this is going to be perfect for my skin tone. So absolutely love it. All right, so up next we have the Lawless Forget the Filler. This is their perfect plump set. So I picked this up mainly for the lip mask. The lip mask is a full size and then it came with a travel deluxe sample size, whatever, of the lip gloss, which you guys know I love. And the cost of it was the same price as the lip mask itself. So you already know me, I'm looking for a deal. If I can get two things for the price of one, even if it is the sample size, yes, I still want it. So it says that the lip mask is the Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. So this is what it looks like. So pretty good size, but this is the mask here. And I really just wanted to try this, but since I could get this for free, basically, I wanted to do that as well. So I know I love this. And if this is as good as this, this should be a win. Next, I picked up the Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I feel like I tried this years ago when I had really bad acne and I don't remember. I don't remember, but this has really great reviews. People seem to love it. And for some reason, I'm having a little bit of texture on my skin. I'm not going to say for some reason. It's because I keep trying new stuff. That's what it is. And the minute I see something like, oh, looks like I have a little bump. I'll go into this like full, I need to exfoliate something. And then the next thing you know, I have texture all over my face. But either way, I'm always looking for something to help smooth and help with my dark spots and help with my wrinkles. So I thought this would be something good to try. And I just decided to pick it up on a whim. Next, I picked up the Vega, Vega More, Vega More. I have no idea. This is the Grow Scalp Detoxifying Serum. I've been seeing this all over Instagram. I actually picked that up and their Grow Hair Serum. So right now, this is like day four hair. I'm not even sure. It looks pretty decent, but I've been having issues with my hair shedding and it's not breaking. It's literally like coming out from the root. And this usually happens when I'm really stressed out and it's been happening for a while because I've been stressed out for a while. So I wanted to go ahead and give this a try. This sounds really liquidy. Wasn't expecting that. Um, but I decided to go ahead and give this a try because I've seen it on social media and it's supposed to work really well. And my main areas of concern are here in the front. I mean, I think that's pretty standard for most people, but also maybe a little in the back. I have no idea. I need to go get a trim, but in the meantime, I wanted to try this and I was happy I could get it at Sephora to try it versus ordering it online. Now, if it doesn't work, if I use it soon enough, I can take it back. I also decided to pick up the Ole Henriksen, Ole, Ole, I have no idea, however you pronounce it. This is their Transform Smooth Texture Dutopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. I've been really getting into products that I can put on at night, don't have to worry about, no muss, no fuss. And because I work from home, I don't wear makeup every day. Even when I go to the gym, I don't even put makeup on as much. I feel like my dark spots are getting better. But again, I just want to keep doing everything I can to help improve them. So I thought this was going to help. It says overhauls texture and reduces the look of dark spots, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. This is everything I need in a bottle. So I hope it works. Next, what is this? Okay, so I got a small one of these. I have enough concealers. I already know that. And I think this shade's gonna be okay. This is the Tarte C, uh, of course mine is in the box backwards so I can't read it to you. Go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, this is, well that doesn't help either. Why would they do this to me? This is their new concealer. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull it up. This is their 
C Power Flex Full Coverage Vegan Concealer. Why does it not say that on the box, y'all? Oh, it does at the bottom. <laughs> it is late. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I picked up the shade 44H Tan Honey. She looks a little light, but we all know I wear my concealers light. I'm fine with a light concealer as long as it doesn't look yellow. I don't like super golden concealers. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one just so you guys can see. I feel like this looks a little darker. It looks really light on camera, but that's all my concealers. Um, I do think this might be darker than my Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm not sure. But either way, because my foundations are usually so dark, I prefer to go a little lighter with my concealer and then it all ends up blending out. So I think this is gonna work. I need to try it soon just to make sure this shade isn't too light. But I've been looking for products that aren't as drying on my under eyes because I feel like even though this makeup has been on all day, I feel like sometimes my under eyes look really dry and my lines show a little more. So I want something a little more hydrating and then I set it with powder and I'm good to go. Next, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I did go ahead and pick this up. I do have her other foundation, the Airbrush Flawless Finish. And it's dark, so I have not worn it recently, but your girl's about to get a tan, so I will be wearing it soon. But I decided to pick this up in the shade 14 Neutral. I do feel like, I need my scissors. This is, hold on. A pretty good shade match for me um, but again the shades were a little limited so I don't know y'all know I like my foundations dark don't come for me this is what I like I'm, oh hold on is this a pump I just took the top off and almost made a huge mess it is a pump I did not how did I not know that when I tried this in the store anyway comes in a little pump and I'm gonna just do a quick little swatch to show you if any of you guys are my foundation twins, which is probably hard to tell because of how I wear my foundations. But this is what it looks like right here. I mean, I feel like, what are we talking about here? Like if you compare it to my chest, it might be a little dark, but even still, I think that's a good match. This is how I like it and it is neutral doesn't come off too golden so i think this is perfect i can't wait to wear this one last thing in this box is the kosas revealer skin improving foundation broad spectrum spf 25. i've been hearing everybody talk about this i ain't even gonna lie it was some fomo i really like their concealer and i have mine in the shade um 8.0 or 0.8 whatever how they number them but this is in the shade Deep Neutral 380. I picked this one up in the store. I'm glad I went in the store because the shades on the website kind of threw me off and I would have gone way too light. Love the packaging, super cute. The yellow screams like fun and bright. I'm also gonna swatch this real quick and I'm gonna swatch it next to the Charlotte. So the Charlotte is right here and then this is the Kosas right here. I feel like my lights are gonna blow it out, so I don't wanna put it too close. But again, I feel like that is a really, it's gonna be a little dark, but we're gonna be all right. So I think both of these shades, the undertones are what I like, and I tend to look at that more specifically than the shade, because a lot of times I feel like stuff that is my shade ends up looking too yellow, and I just don't like to look yellow. I don't care if that's my undertone, that's not my preference, and that's what makeup is for. So we're gonna go with what we like. I hope y'all grabbed a snack because we got two bags this size. I got a little bag. That was my little box. And then I got <laughs> this big box. So I'm gonna try to go fast. That's why I said I wasn't swatching anything, but you know, you get to talking about makeup and the next thing you know, you're like, ooh, look. So anyway, we'll get into this little bag. So this I picked up actually today. This, I decided to try some Sephora lashes. Sephora collection was 30% off, is 30% off. You still have time. This is in Swanky, which says dramatic. 
I know I don't need more lashes. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about how cute these are. And I was talking to the girl at the store and she actually said that if the band is a little thicker, sometimes they're easier to put on for beginners than bands that are too flimsy. So that kind of made me wonder. This is a little flimsier. This is like what I would normally pick, but these are big. I ain't even gonna lie. These are gonna be for my glam days. And then I picked up more, but I guess they're in another bag. So I'll show those later, but thought these were really cute. Gonna have to trim them, but they're cute. Next, I decided to pick up the Sephora foundation, the powder foundation. This is their, all it says is matte perfection powder foundation. I picked mine up in the shade number 62 toffee spice. Y'all, when I go in the store, this is why I like shopping online, because when I shop in the store, I pick up stuff that I wasn't looking for. And I do want to do a video of a full face of Sephora collection, so I picked up some Sephora stuff. So this is what the shade looks like, and I did swatch it on my hand, and I think it's a really good match. This is also very creamy. Like, I was kind of surprised, and I filmed another powder foundation routine but i want to do a few more of those and so i thought this would be good to have to kind of do a comparison plus with 30 percent off it made sense to do it now so yeah i think this is going to be a great shade for me the next thing i picked up is this item beauty blushing like cream blush i wasn't checking for these was not checking for these at all packaging is really cute Honestly, the shades kind of got me. This is the shade I'm crushing. I swatched it in the store. This packaging is so cute. And I think I was just looking for more stuff for the summer. And I really like these shades because when I swatched it in the store, this is like the perfect like kind of corally, not peach, it's pink, but it's more of like a coral shade. And I thought like this was just, this screams summer, spring to me. I have a lot of shades that are more like bronzy summer going into the fall neutral and i wanted some more pops of color in my cream blushes so this was the main motivation for, for picking it up and these are also pretty inexpensive i think this was like yeah 16 bucks plus the 20 percent off so thought it was a good time to try something new i also picked up another shade this is the shade admit it i think this shade i swatched this one first and i was just like ooh. I don't know if it was just the testers because I'm not really seeing it in the pan when I first opened these, but they kind of had a little bit of a gold sheen to them. I don't know what it was. They had a little bit of a sheen. This is more my normal kind of cool tone, berry. I love to wear this kind of shade when I wear makeup. So I needed to get something I knew I would wear and then I wanted to get something else to try something new. So thought this was very, very cute. I also picked up a small size deluxe sample, whatever you want to call it, of the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara by Rare Beauty. I've heard a lot of people talking about this. My favorite mascaras right now, I have fallen back in love with my Thrive Cosmetics um, mascara. I love how it makes my eyelashes look. It's lengthening. It darkens them. It is a tubing mascara. So I've really just been into that if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, but I still love my Pat McGrath. I still love my Fenty and I'm kind of trying to find something else just because, because, um, but I heard a lot of good things about this. I picked up this one and another mascara. I'll show you later, but this one I wanted to get in the sample size since they had it just to see how good it was. I also decided to pick up the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. See, this is one of those things I wasn't checking for. I was not buying anything Makeup by Mario, and then I must have gone by the, the little area where all his stuff was probably three, four times, and I almost picked up his sculpting sticks, and I was like, Barbara, you have some of those already that you don't wear, don't do it. But, I remember one video, I was trying to do a makeup look and I wanted a neutral, semi-cool toned lip color and I couldn't find it and it pissed me off. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna get some lip colors because we're not having this happen again. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is super cute and I already have lip gloss on so I'm not gonna do that. But I thought this shade actually, I lie. This is not the one that I picked up that I thought was the neutral shade. This is more of my 
every day this is the kind of shade that I like to wear when I'm wearing just like barely any makeup but I want my lips to have some color so yeah I lie I did pick up another lip color that is lighter but I wanted for this brand because it was new I wanted to pick up a color that I liked that I knew I was gonna wear enough to make it worth purchasing this next thing I picked up is this Sephora makeup match highlight brush haven't really tried a lot of Sephora brushes, I don't think. And I love, I don't know what my obsession is with highlight brushes. I will buy those and foundation brushes. Eyeshadow brushes, I don't really care as much because I feel like I can make good looks with the, the brushes that I have and they're not expensive. So why do I need to spend a lot? But I'm gonna just take this out to show real quick. I don't know why I love highlight brushes. Why can't I get this out the box? Plus I like the packaging. like. It's cute and it's a matte kind of tannish shade. I don't know, I just thought it was very simple but cute. But this is like perfect highlight. And honestly, you could probably also use it to apply your contour. So yeah, I don't know, I just picked up a brush. I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses for anything. <laughs> I'm just not, <laughs> I'm just not. Next, I picked up the Sephora Bronzed Bronzer. This is their matte bronzer in 06. Ibiza again I picked this up because it was 30% off and I wanted to have it to be able to do my full face of Sephora even though I probably already have a Sephora bronzer that I could use we're not gonna talk about that this is what it looks like I swatched it in the store it is deep enough but I feel like it's something that I'm gonna have to build up but I think this would be great for days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup or barely any like there's some days I would just do a little concealer under my eyes and then I want to put on a little bronzer a little bit of blush maybe cover up my dark spots here where they're the worst and then I go by my business after I fill in my eyebrows put this in my crease and I'm good to go so just wanted to have one for my video in case the one I have in my I have a face palette and I don't think it's dark enough so I just wanted to have another option Next, I picked up the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor. This is the moisturizer that is supposed to be really good under makeup. So it's like a sunscreen and a primer in one. Why did I make this stuff so hard to get into? Don't they know we have hauls to film? Oh, okay, this is a lot. Um, let's see, so, oh, I guess this is refillable? I don't know. Apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas and it's SPF 30. So this goes in this little tube like that, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I feel like it should go all the way down. Oh, there you go, you twist it. Okay, you twist this little thing down here and it goes down. So super cute, but I have used a sample of this and I really like it. It doesn't leave that ugly white cast or anything like that, but it does give you a little glow, which I've been really into lately, so I decided to go ahead and get a full size. Next, I picked up the DP Hue. This is their apple cider vinegar scalp scrub. I feel like a lot of the issues I'm having are because of my scalp, because I've noticed it's a little bit itchier, and I talked about this in another video. I don't know if it's because of the weather here versus in Houston, but this is actually a kit. It comes with this little comb, and then it comes with the apple cider vinegar scrub, and then also with this gloss. So I just thought this was a really good set to try. I picked up their temporary hair color for like grays and stuff. I haven't used it yet, but so I just felt like for everything that you got in this kit, it was a good price and perfect to pick up during the sale. I also decided to pick up this Summer Friday Skin Care Regimen Set. I have been interested in trying this brand for a while. I really wanted to try their jet lag mask. Is it in here? Yes, okay, that's why I picked this up. So this has their Super Amino Gel Cleanser, Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution, and their Jet Lag Mask. That is the main reason why I picked this set up because I didn't wanna just pick up the mask by itself in case it didn't work. So now I get to try more products. I love getting little sets like this because you get to try different things and if one thing doesn't work, you didn't buy a full size of it and then you waste your money. So to me, this just makes more sense. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sizes just so you can see if you think it's worth it or not. 
Of course, these are all wrapped in little paper. So it's gonna take longer for me to take it out. But yeah, I think this is a good size. This is the cleanser. This is the toner. So these are pretty good size. Definitely worth the price and being able to travel with it. And then this is the jet lag mask, which I think is a really good size as well. So plus this bag is cute. I would definitely reuse this. I'm gonna go ahead and show these right now because one I picked up a while back and I didn't film it in a haul when it first came out. And then I picked up another one during the sale because I had heard really good things about it. This is the Briogeo Don't, Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein Moisture Strengthening Treatment. Lots of words. Like I said, I didn't pick these both up at the same time, but I really was interested in this because I heard rice water does really well for our hair to be able to strengthen it and help it grow. So I just decided to pick up two. I wanted another one during the sale. That's all it was. Next, I picked up another kit. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Shine. This is a lip kit. I love picking up these kits. This has the full size Huda Beauty lip balm, a Fenty lip cream, which I also think is a full size, a Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper in a full size, and then, oh no, 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 sorry. Fenty is regular size, the NARS, no, Fenty is, just open the pack, Barbara. There are some full size and deluxe size, but it comes with all of these right here. So Fenty is full size, Huda is full size. This looks like a full size, too. it is. Milk is a full size, and this costs $34. So I mean, really, definitely worth the price. And then a Pat McGrath, I wonder if I have this shade. Which shade is this? Flesh 6, I think I do, but that's all right because it's smaller and I can put it in my purse. And then this NARS is a mini afterglow lip balm in Laguna, which Laguna is their bronzer shade. So is this like a brownish? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I haven't seen that before, but I think that is going to be cute for if you don't want too much color. So yeah, I was really happy to see this and this was one of the first things that went in my cart. Everything sold out so fast this year. I don't know if like the past couple years people have not been buying as much stuff because of COVID and we've all been in the house, but I feel like this is the first year that I remember like going in to buy stuff and just everything being out of stock. Super frustrating because I would get notifications that it was back in stock and if you didn't click on it within like 30 minutes, it was gone again. So yeah, very frustrating. I have some stuff still in my cart that I might buy. I got a couple more days, but I'm also waiting for other stuff to come back in stock before the sale ends. Next, I decided to, this was my little idea of a splurge. I decided to pick up the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro Mini Lip Kit. There are three shades in here, number 103, 209, and 415. One is a very cute nude. Then this one is like a chocolatey brownish red. And this is a red. And I don't have any of the, I don't, I've never tried this brand in any lip products before. So I thought this was cute to kind of venture out and see this is the kind of shade I was looking for. So that's another reason why I thought this kit was going to be perfect. Next, I finally decided to pick up the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I feel like I looked at these and I couldn't figure a shade and I was just like, you have enough concealers, whatever. But I really have been intrigued by this brand for some reason lately, I don't know. And so I was like, I wanna get the foundation, I wanna get the concealer. I don't think I got the foundation. I feel like their shades are really weird, but I'm like, I can deal with a concealer. And even still, I feel like this concealer is kinda light. This is in the shade, it might help if I tell you. 420N, oh no, this one's not that bad. It looks a lot lighter. Yeah, this one's not that bad. Definite, well, is it the same shade? <laughs> it might be the same shade as earlier, but to me, that's not that bad. So this is what the shade looks like. I feel like it looks a lot lighter. It's coming off lighter. This is a perfect shade for me. So I felt confident about the concealer shade, not so much about the foundation shades, and I have enough foundations. So I think, I think I passed on it, but we need to get through these boxes and bags first. Next, I picked up a Natasha Denona Blush Duo. I 
I need to look at this because honestly, this one's in the shade. It says palette number 11. Which one is this? Because there was one I got that was like a burnt orange and then I think the other one was a brick red. This is the burnt orange. So I thought this would be really cute for summer. Orange looks so good on dark skin. Do not let it fool you. And I don't think I have a powder blush that is just an orange. I just recently decluttered my blushes. So let me see, because this is supposed to be like a highlighter, but it's a matte. I did not know that. Hmm. So that is the blush, that's the highlighter. I did not realize that was a matte. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna try this soon because I honestly think I might bring it back. I thought it was a regular highlighter, which I thought would make it worth it because I love her highlighters. But I'm not sure. These are on sale right now, plus the extra discount, which is why I picked it up. But I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. So, I'm going to keep that on top of the desk because that might go back. Next, I picked up the Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Highlighter in the shade Flaunt. I picked this up. I watch Mena. I cannot pronounce her, na her last name and I don't want to butcher it, but I love her makeup. It always looks so flawless and she swears by this. Y'all, I don't even wear liquid highlighter like that. I don't, but her makeup always looks good and I was like, you know what? She told me to get it. She said we need to try it, so I'm here for it. I think it's always so pretty when she applies it. It's almost like a rose gold kind of, like it just always looks so good whenever, whenever she wears it. So I don't know, I feel like, like once I blend it out, like that is so pretty. So yeah. I had to try it. I definitely cannot wait to wear this one. Next, to go along with my Sephora, full face of Sephora look, I picked up one of their pocket palettes. Of course, I had to get the purple one. Actually, I should have looked in store. I forgot. I wanted to get one of their neutral ones. I ain't going back to the store, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of shopping, but this one, I think these are cute. Like, this is what it looks like, and then you pull it out like that. I really like how this shade looks up here. It kind of reminds me of the shade in Pretty Baby by Tom Ford. And I was like, Barbie, you could do a cute look with that. You just need your bronzer for a good crease shade. But yeah, I like these shades. I love me a good purple and I thought this was super cute. So this will be in that video. I also decided to finally pick up the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have this and the shade I have is too dark and I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of it because it's just sitting in my drawer. I didn't wanna waste my money, but it's a waste just sitting there. So I don't remember what shade I got, but this is in the shade Banana. So it is a lot lighter, but it is not too yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that through there. I feel like it's coming off almost looking neon. That is not the shade. I don't know if that kind of looks a little better, but anyway, it's almost like a beige kind of versus like a super banana yellow which is what I like to bake with so I'm whew, I'm finally gonna be able to use this and see if I actually like it I need to try this stuff soon because I have a really bad habit of buying stuff and I do my haul video and then I put it because I'm like I don't open that yet and then when I open it if I don't like it I can't bring it back so this will get used soon this is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick I have some of her original liquid lipsticks and they are very drying. I have to prep my lips really well when I wear them. And so I saw this and saw it was a demi matte. This is in the shade She-E-O, which I think, yeah, I mean, it's my standard. <laughs> Y'all know what kind of shades I like, similar to what I have on my lips right now. Kind of like a brownie nude. And go ahead and swirl. oh it's a little pinker than I thought that's the shade right there so really cute but it's more of a demi matte instead of a regular matte that's not gonna dry my lips out so much so that was my main motivation for picking this one up hopefully it still has some staying power because I don't like to reapply but that shades a little pinker than I thought 
We'll make it work. Brown lip liner, anything can look good. I finally decided to pick up the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I picked mine, oh Barbara. <laughs> I picked mine up in the shade 3N, mainly because I wanted to use this to set my under eye area. I don't normally set my whole face with a shiny powder, so I didn't wanna get that for this reason. So this is what it looks like. It does look really light, but I think it'll be perfect for this area here. I have thought about picking up darker shades too, but I have enough powders. Don't need to do that. So I just wanted to give this a try. And when I thought about what I would really wear it for, that was gonna be it. So I went with a lighter shade. Also from the Sephora collection, I decided to pick up their Clean Velvet Cream Blush Palette. Y'all, I saw this and I thought the shades just looked so pretty that I just had to pick it up. I know I have a lot of cream blushes and honestly, I've been liking to wear cream blushes more than powder blushes, especially when I'm doing my no makeup makeup days or not a lot of makeup. And I just thought this was so cute. Does this doesn't come in shades? Yeah, this is in the shade Spiced. So this is what it looks like. I f is this color coming off right? This is more like that kind of terracotta. I feel like it's looking a little more berry and this is looking purple. I'm gonna try to make sure it looks right. But yeah, these are all shades that I would absolutely wear. And this one's kind of deep, almost like a blend between a contour slash bronzer slash blush. So I just thought this was perfect and I couldn't wait to pick it up. You know what? I can't help it. I want to swatch these because I need to see what the pigment looks like. I wasn't gonna, but that is what the shades look like there. Yes. Come on. Woo. Come on pigment. Yeah. These are really, really pretty. The next thing I picked up is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrushed Primer. This is fairly new and I've heard really good things about it. I used to wear the Mineral Veil Primer that they had. That is super expensive. I think this was kind of expensive too, but with the sale, it definitely helps. I wanted to go ahead and try this out. I love primers. That is one of my favorite things to buy. And again, what are we fixing? What are we working to smooth? Wrinkles, pores. So if this does this and does what the claims say, it just says smooth onto moisturized skin with fingertips and follow with foundation. It doesn't have the claims on the box, but it says airbrush. So it better do something or, or she can go back to the store. We have another kit. This is the Sephora Favorite Sweet Picks. I honestly picked this up because this is a full size cream blush from Fenty and I wanted to try their cream blushes. This has a Lancome Juicy Tubes full size, Glow Recipe, Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops, Laneige Sleeping Mask, and the Briogeo Be Kind, what is this? Avocado and Kiwi. Is it a mask? Yes, a mask. So I'm not gonna lie, I picked this up. I think, how much was this? 30 bucks, and I don't know how much the Fenty blushes are, but I think they're about the same price. And that's what I picked this up for. This is in the shade Summertime Wine. And this is my little berry shade. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. So I was like, this kit is a no brainer. It also comes with a Sephora mask and then all these other little goodies. So I love getting stuff like this because you can also gift them too if you don't open it. <laughs> so I thought this little set was perfect and I do wanna try this mask. I think um, Andrea Renee was talking about, this was one of her favorite masks. I think she mentioned the green one. So I think this is it, but I'm not sure, but I can't wait to try it because we need all the moisture we can get. I picked up another Fenty product. This is the Lil Bronze Duo. This is the Sunstalker Bronzer and the Matchstick. Does it say the shades or do I need to open it? Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer and Matchstick. It does not. Oh yeah, Caramel Cutie and Cinnamon. I've never, no, I'm not gonna say that. I tried the Matchsticks a while back. I liked, I picked up one of the Matchstick sets and 
the concealer was too dark for the bronzer I needed. And then the other bronzer was too light for the concealer. It was just the set didn't match. So I thought this was cute. It's a cute little mini. Super cute. Great for vacation. I just hope this bronzer is dark enough. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. But the matchstick. This is not what I thought. It does say shimmer. Okay, Barbara, you know reading is fundamental. That is what that looks like. That is not what I... Ooh, that's pretty though. That's not what I expected, but... Maybe that's for the better. Let me swatch this bronzer while I'm at it. That ain't, oh, that makes me mad. Maybe I can build it up because it does look a little cool tone. So it might actually do a light little contour, but let's I, that is not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be darker. I think this was on sale and the 20% off. So that's why I picked it up because otherwise I wouldn't have. Y'all, we ain't even got to the bags yet. I probably should have did this in two, but I need to get this out. So, I picked up a Smashbox Primerizer. This is their Primer and Moisturizer. I actually use this pretty frequently whenever I don't want to do a full face of makeup and just want to touch up some spots. So, I put my moisturizer on. I'm in a rush. And then I just touch up my little spots and I go about my business. I used... I don't know if I have this already. I know I've used a small size. I used the whole little sample size up of it. So I just went ahead and picked it up. I think, I think I have one of these already and this might be a backup, but I've been using it a lot more since I don't need to wear makeup as heavy. I feel like I don't need to wear makeup as heavy. So I've been using this a lot more instead of a heavy duty primer to keep my makeup on. Some more Sephora collection items. I picked up their Smooth and Blur Primer. This is also going to be for the video. This had really good reviews. Smooth, blur, y'all know that's what I'm looking for. It says diffuses the look of imperfections. It has ginkgo extract and stabilized vitamin E. No idea, but it's silky whipped and reduces fine lines, pores, and wrinkles and preps skin with a blurred effect. So we love it. I also went ahead and picked up two lip liners, one in molasses and one in mesquite. I know I have their lip liners already and I love them. They're retractable, my favorite. I don't think I have molasses, this dark one here. I might have this one already and maybe I picked up rosewood. I don't know, but I know those are like the three shades that I normally gravitate towards. So I got to look through my bags, but yeah, I picked up some of these. I also decided to go ahead and pick up one of their eyeliners. This is the matte brown black eyeliner. I like a dark brown liner on my bottom lash line. I don't really like black unless I'm doing super dramatic makeup. And the one that I had in my travel bag was literally like this big. So it was time to replace it. My little sister kept it. So I just wanted to go ahead and try this for the video. And then last in this box, I decided to pick up the Make No Mistake, Make no Mistake High Coverage Concealer. I was gonna try to get the Bright Future Concealer, but I felt like none of the shades really looked good for me. This is in the shade Cinnamon, and I did try this in store. I was between a shade 11 and, a, and this is 12, but 11 looked really light. I swatched it in store. And it kind of looks like it could work. So we're going to go ahead and open this right now to see. Because I think... I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring this back or not. I hope this shade is good enough. Because it's weird, but it was almost like 11 looked darker than 12. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I think so. Oh, you might have to go back. That is yellow. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, that is not it. That is not it. This is going back and I'm going to get, oh, I'm going to get shade number 11. Yeah, that's weird, but 11 was darker. So now we move into the bags. We have two. I feel like I've been talking forever. I feel like my voice is going to run out. So I'm going to try to hurry up. 
This is the Olaplex Number no. Nine Bond Perfector Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. I love Olaplex. I buy it every time there is a sale. This is a newer product to the line. It is a hair serum, and it says that this is great for frizz control, anti-static detangling, and bounce back memory. So you apply a small amount to towel, damp towel dried hair. Yeah, you don't wash this one out. So this is just a leave-in, something new to try. I also got my birthday gift. This is, I decided to pick up the Tatcha one. They had an Amika one and then the Tatcha one. This comes with the Dewy Skin Cream, a sample of the Liquid Silk Canvas, and then the Rice Wash. What is this? Soft Cream Cleanser. So this I didn't buy. This is my birthday gift. I did go ahead and pick up the Patrick Star Turn Up the Base BBB Cream. I looked at this in the store and I felt like I couldn't find my shade and then for whatever reason I went back and I feel like I found my shade. This is in Dark 2G which was so weird because in the store the label on the package said something different and it was very confusing. Is this going to squeeze out or is it going to be hard? have to take this off but I do want to show you guys the shade because I normally don't pick warm golden shades. But when I swatched it, I love the packaging on this. It's a little flip top. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys real quick. This is thick. It's almost like a mousse, which I think also surprised me. But that's what it looks like there. It doesn't look super golden. Like, I love this shade. And I'm surprised because it just feels so thick. And, like, it feels like a balm. Like, it doesn't feel like... A liquid foundation it feels like a mousse I don't know this is definitely gonna give you some coverage so I don't know why you would go this route honestly versus picking a foundation because it feels like it's gonna cover like a foundation but I'm just happy I found my shade again this is dark 2g we have another set I love these sets I cannot say that enough this is the Sephora favorites clean me up kit so this comes with two full-size items. Is this all lip? It's not even all lip products. So this comes with the Ilia Mascara Item Beauty Lip Quip, whatever that is. Looks like a lip gloss. Kosas Full Size Lip, whatever that is. Just open the bag, Barbara. Okay, this comes with the Say. I've never tried this brand. What is this thing? Say Beauty Super Glue. Glowy Super Gel? I don't know what you do with this. Maybe it's a primer. I'll have to look it up. The Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. And then I haven't tried Merit Beauty Easy either. This is cute. This is in Marrakesh. What is this thing? Lord, this stuff's so small. Tinted Lip Oil. Super cute. Ilia Mascara. Kosis, this looks like a lip gloss. Oh no, this is one of their 10 second eye. Yeah, 10 second eyeshadows in the shade Heat. I do want to swatch this because I just wanted to see what it looks like. Super pretty, like a rose gold kind of pink, but very shiny. And then, yeah, this is the Item Beauty lip gloss. So another really cute shade. This is the Way Hair Care Conditioner. This is their repair conditioner. Honestly, I picked this up because it was on sale in the store. It was already 30% off, and then I got the 20% off. I didn't buy the shampoo, didn't see the shampoo. I know this is a really good brand, and because it said it was repair, I was like, you know what, go ahead and pick it up since it's sitting right there, and you get all this money off. I also picked up the <laughs> Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I heard a lot about this and I was kind of worried. I got mine in the shade Deep 2. I was kind of worried that this wasn't really going to be enough coverage for me. But when I swatched it in the store, if I can open her. Hold on a second. When I swatched it in the store, I was like, oh, I'm surprised. This is a really good match. And I feel like I just cut myself. I know I did. Um, it's a really good match, and I also felt like it kind of reminded me of the NYX Total Control Drops, like that kind of formula. So this is what the packaging looks like. It does come with a little dropper. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the back so you guys can see. 
that's the shade right there. I think I'm getting better with my shade matches, guys. What y'all think? I really like how that looks. Yeah, so I'm excited to try that one to see how the coverage is on it because I've heard good things about it. It's supposed to be kind of like light to medium coverage, which I feel like I've been able to wear and be okay with. So this was pretty exciting to pick up. This is a sample. I got a sample, the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I do have the mask already, but I will take a sample. This is the... What is this? Bum Bum Cream, Sol de Janeiro. I, y'all, I picked this up. I smelled it in the store. It smells freaking amazing. I put the big size in my cart, in my cart. And then I was like, Barbara, you don't even wear stuff like this regularly. You put on your Nivea, you go to bed. If you even remember to put on a lotion, why are you about to spend $48 on a body cream? So I put it back and I got the small one. I'm going to put this on tonight. And if it smells good, I'm putting it in my cart and I'm getting the big one. Like, smells good on me. You know something can smell good when you smell it and then with your body chemistry, not so much. I have not liked any of the other scents until I saw this one. Did I say this? This is the Beja Flor. It smells like a perfume. It smells really, really good. This is the type of scent that I'm in. I did not like the dark pink one. I don't like the yellow. I don't like the blue. None of those. This is it. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Lime Reducing Concentrate. I decided to go ahead and get a full size sample of this. I was not looking for this. I was not checking for this. And then I saw it in the store and I remembered I had a small sample of it and I freaking loved it. And so I was like, girl, you better grab it while it's on sale. Now, I will say that I kind of wish I would have waited because anything that I can get at Ulta, I usually get at Ulta because the point system is better. I like it. And this was just, I wasn't thinking. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get this at Ulta, but I just went ahead and picked it up while I was in the store. I picked up two Danessa Myricks products. I went ahead and picked up her Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I got mine in the shade 19G, which again, I was not thinking that I would be anybody's golden shade because I don't like golden shades tend to look yellow on me but I swatched it. I waited a little while to make sure it was gonna dry down. And this does not look golden at all. I actually think this is probably gonna be a little dark, but let me put it on the other hand. Out of all the shades that they had, I felt like this one was the best match for me. Yeah, it's a little bit darker compared to this one, but I'm all right with that. I think I just really wanted to try it Y'all know how I am with foundation. So this was the one that had the best undertone for what I look for. So if it's a little dark, I can lighten it up with my concealer. I also finally picked up her Vision Cream Cover. This is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. I got this one in Warm 06. I tried to buy this before and I bought the wrong shade. I tried to look online and I just could not get my shade to match. So I took them back and I said, it's not for me. And then in the store, I was able to swatch them. This is really small. I probably should have got this as a concealer now that I think about it, but whatever. I got the shade that I thought would fit best in my foundation shade. I'm trying to pump a little bit out to show you guys the difference. And that is a lot darker than I think I remember when I swatched it. So you can see the difference there. I make... Uh, Y'all, the mall is so far from me. Oh, I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking it back. We're going to make it work. I might take it back. I might take it back and try to get a lighter shade and use it as a concealer since this one is already a little dark too, but that is a lot darker than I remember when I swatched it. <sighs> okay. So anyway, I just really want to try more of her products and I'm trying to support the brand, but it's just been a struggle with everything that I've tried to pick out. So very frustrating next i picked up the rare beauty always an optimist eyeshadow primer i've heard a lot of people talking about this and i just fomo nothing other than that i have eyeshadow primers that i love but i heard good things about this so i decided to pick it up i also picked up the Ilya true skin serum foundation 
This one I got in the shade number SF11 Martinique. And I will go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see how the shade compares. This was the closest to on this hand, closest to my shade that I could find out of what they had. And again, like I feel like I remember this one when it dried down and I rubbed it in. It felt like it's a little red, but I felt like this smells. What is that smell? Aloe. Mastic and squalene? Fragrance free? No, it is not. This definitely has a smell. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like when I rub that in, it's a little on the red side, but I feel like it's a pretty decent, not to my chest, but <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty good match. I can make it work, but I really just wanted to try this foundation. If you're still here, comment below because I know this video is long and I still have another bag. I'm doing this all in one. We are down to the wire, the final bag. This was a trip to the store and a lot of this stuff, again, I wasn't checking for. So that's why I stay my behind out the store. This is the Sephora Collection Lip Blush and this is in the shade number 10. This is the kind of shade I was looking for when I was doing that look, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up, 30% off. I did pick up a Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Liner. I picked mine up in the shade Chris. I didn't want to get a super dark, dark brown, and Jeff was really dark. So this one's more kind of on the reddish brown, probably similar to what I have on right now. I love that these come with a little brush at the end because I feel like... There's a lot of times I want to blend in my lip color and I have to use my finger. So I thought this was cute, but I will go ahead and swatch it. It is definitely more of like a medium brownish red shade, which is what I tend to gravitate towards. So I picked something I would wear more often than like a dark brown. I decided to go ahead and pick up the Fenty Skin Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. This is just because people have been talking about it. I ain't even going to lie. Had no intentions of picking this up. And then people said this was really good. It has glycerin in it. It's good for your feet, all that stuff. Use it at night. I have noticed that in the past couple years, my calluses from deadlifting have gotten worse. And I never had that issue before. So I'm kind of hoping that this will help with that. This was also another purchase that somebody said you need to try. This is the Glowy Makeup Serum by Laneige. Have not tried this, but like I told y'all, I've been liking to have more glowy products under my foundation. I just have to make sure I set them well with a powder just so that my wrinkles don't show too much. Like I feel like my makeup did pretty well today, but I really set the area so that my makeup wouldn't slide around. But I just love wearing products like this under my makeup, and I think it helps my makeup apply better as well. I picked up, I think I mentioned lashes earlier. These are the other two pair. This is the Sephora Exclusive Marigold Lashes. What is this? Yeah, House of Lashes and then Lily Lashes. So the House of Lashes are in the style Marigold, which are a little... They're not very thick, but they're kind of longer than what I normally go for. But again... I have my drugstore lashes that I normally go for that are natural, whatever. So I'm like, if I'm going to spend some money on some lashes, I want them to be some good lashes. So I decided to pick those up and I've never tried House of Lashes. So I like that it was the Sephora collection because I got 30% off. Same thing with these Lily Lashes. This is the Faux Mink in Beverly Drive. I had another pair in my cart, the Miami. Is that this brand? I don't know. Y'all know the brand. If you wear lashes, you know the Miamis. But it was, I think, like a small Miami Lights maybe or something. But it was a Sephora collab. So it would have been the 30% off. And they were only $12. I'm trying to get this out the pack, Lord. I know if I try to show you through the plastic, it ain't going to show. These, I actually like how these look. 
It's just the band is a little thicker than what I would normally wear, but I'm trusting the lady at the store and I like this little kind of crisscross thing right here. So I'm gonna probably have to cut those because I think they're too big for my eyes, but I think they're gonna be cute. I picked up a Huda Beauty lip liner. You would swear like I don't have no lip liners. I don't, again, you go in the store and you just start grabbing stuff. This is in the shade Rich Brown. So this one is a brown and it's a little bit darker. I'm trying to get it out the pack. Oh, that makes me even happier. Okay, retractable. So yeah, this one is a brown. You can see the difference in the shades right there. I actually really like that shade a lot. That is also, that kind of reminds me of my Epic by Rimmel that I can't find anymore. So this is gonna be perfect. And then this is the Sephora collection in Rosewood. I knew I picked this up. So I have Mesquite, Rosewood, and Molasses. This shade is very, very good. One of my favorites. I decided to go ahead and pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Intense Set. I got the small one because I've really just been wanting to know what the hype is with the Pillow Talk and the lip cheat and all this other kind of stuff and since she came out with deeper shades this is a really dark brown I swatched it in the store and this lipstick is actually kind of creamy it's not her matte formula but I don't have any Charlotte Tilbury lip products so I really wanted to see what this was about I went ahead and did it I picked up the lawless one and done Longwear volumizing mascara I've heard a lot of people talking about this I love lengthening, I love volumizing. I don't think this is a tubing, but it says it volumizes, defines, lengthens, and lifts, and wears all day while promoting naturally thick lash growth. That is what I'm talking about. I didn't know that it did all that, but that makes me even more excited that I got it because if you can help my lashes while you make them look good, I appreciate you. This was something else I wasn't checking for. I was swatching the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette and I was like, I don't want it. I don't want it. I didn't like the first one. I'm not gonna like this one. I'm not gonna do it. But this lip gloss, she low cute, so we might have to do that. So this is the plumping lip gloss. I just wanted to see how it compared to my Lawless one that I love so much. This is in the shade 2CC's, whatever that means, I have no idea. It's kind of pinkish, but I feel like it's just going to show up clear on my lips, which is good. So I just wanted to try this out. Almost at the end, guys. Stay with me. Stay with me. This I picked up in the store. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I have finally picked it up the airbrush bronzer. I had ordered just the refill because I was going to stick it in a magnetic pan and it came in shattered, completely broken. So I went back to the store and they did not, I'm holding this upside down. Go. Oh. Uh, they didn't have the refills in the store. So I went ahead and bought the big mama jamma. This is in number four deep, which I think is the darkest one that they have. I also picked up, this came in the box with my bronzer. So it's looking all messy. This is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. This I picked up in the shade TN6, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys because I feel like the shades look a little off on the website. This is like one shade lighter. This is not my normal brightening shade that I wear. <laughs> Y'all gonna look at this and be like, Barbara, that's bright enough, whatever. So that is what the shade looks like. And I feel like for how I like to brighten, that is not light enough. But I have it on today. I've had it on all day. I don't, I don't feel like it's creasing on me. I do feel like I should not have put on my mascara and sprayed my face. But I think this is a really good color for like every day. Same as my Kosas one. So I was going to bring it back. But when I looked at the other shades, none of them matched. So I'm going to keep it. I decided to pick up the Ole Henriksen Lemon Smoothing Scrub. I'm not gonna use this for my face. I plan to use this for my body, mainly the back of my legs and any other areas that I have KP, just because I want something that has a little more grit to it. I tried, I haven't tried the um, KP Bump Eraser one yet. I haven't, haven't tried it yet. But other body scrubs that, which one is it? The Skin Fix one? That one doesn't have enough grit for me. It doesn't do anything. So I just went ahead and picked this up while it was on sale to see how it's going to work. I could use it for my face too, but the main reason is for my body. 
Everybody's been talking about this Kiehl's Cream Decor Soy Milk Honey, Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. It was actually on sale, I think, for $35 plus the 25% off. That's the only reason I picked it up. I plan on keeping this by my bed and using it at night. I don't normally wear super thick stuff like this, but honestly, I need to. And when you don't moisturize your skin, that is how stretch marks get worse. And I'm sitting there trying to fix stretch marks, but I'm not moisturizing. So handle your business. Keep your skin elastic and moisturized so when it stretches, it doesn't leave scars. Barbara, you know, and you don't do what you're supposed to do. That's some little tips for y'all. If you didn't know that, keep your skin moisturized. It will help in the long run. And you don't want to look ashy. This is one of those items when you're standing in line and the line is long and you're looking around and ooh, what's that? This is the Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It says magically transforms texture. Amazing. I wonder if this is supposed to be for curly hair. No, because it says blow dry. Anyway, you're supposed to use this every three to four shampoos and it is supposed to help make your hair super shiny and all that good stuff. So something else to try. It was small. It was by the counter. I grabbed it. I also decided to pick up the Peace Out Dark Spot Serum. This had really good reviews. Y'all know that's what I'm working on. So look, I'm not buying nothing else from Sephora till the next sale. I ain't gonna say I ain't buying no more this year, but definitely not till the next sale. I have, I paid somebody's paycheck, I feel like this time around, so I am done. But I definitely wanted to try this because the reviews were so good. Last but not least, hallelujah, we are at the end. This is the Rare Beauty. This is a new shade in their Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. So I have the matte one. I can't remember which shade I have. I think it's Joy. But this is in the shade Believe. Y'all, this was so pretty. Again, something else I wasn't checking for. Swatched it in the store and I was just like, I need to have this. This is a cooler toned blush, which I do like cool tone blushes as whoa, as well. But it's almost like a very pretty mauve. Like I think this would be almost like a, a good, I wonder if I could put this on my lips. I don't know. I just thought it was super pretty. It's a berry, but it's a cool tone berry. And yeah, I just thought it would look really pretty. So the other one I have is kind of like a more, I can't remember which one I have. I know I only have one and I think it's a red. It's either love or joy. I don't remember, but it's a matte one. So I decided to pick up a dewy one. I'm tired. I feel like I've been talking for hours. If you stayed with me to the end, comment below and tell me the last thing that I talked about. You are the real OG. Yo, I'm not going to say I'm done with hauls because I have other stuff sitting that I need to tell you about. I lost my mind for my birthday. I did. Your girl's been going through some things and shopping makes me happy. And I'm also decluttering to make room for this new stuff. So it is what it is. I hope you enjoy watching hauls because I got a lot of them coming. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.